The Noctua NH-L12 Ghost S1 Edition. It feels like this CPU cooler was just announced a few weeks ago. No wait, it actually was announced just a few weeks ago. I did a news video about it as well. And now we have it here for a complete review. And how about that? Starting with the basics, the Noctua NH-L12 Ghost S1 Edition is made in partnership with a case company called Lockheed and designed to work with their Ghost S1 enclosure. This CPU cooler is designed for small form factor enclosures and systems. The NH-L12 Ghost S1 Edition has a rather simple design if we talk about the looks alone. What you can see is mostly the heatsink itself, as the cooler has a single fan installed on the underside of the heatsink, a design which has been used before with other Noctua coolers. One of the main benefits of this model, however, is the clearance, especially for small form factor systems such as the ones that are usually installed in the Ghost S1 case. Before we go on with the review, let's see what is delivered with this special edition cooler. First of all, the accessories are packaged in their own little box, which also has printed a complete list of all the accessories and their numbers. This way you can know for sure if you're missing something. This may not look like much, but many manufacturers do not do these things and it shows in the long run. Anyway. There are the three user manuals, each has as its main subject a different platform. Then there is the now usual Philips screwdriver, a metallic backplate, the brackets for the Intel and AMD platforms, a tube of Noctua NTH1 thermal compound, a low noise adapter for lowering the speed of the fan, and a metallic case badge. Now back to the CPU cooler. The heatsink has a total of 60 aluminum made cooling fins. This means that the NH-L12 Ghost S1 has a high fin density heatsink design, a thing which is mostly seen in high performance coolers that use high speed or high static pressure fans. The before mentioned fins are of good quality and are not really that easy to bend. In addition, at the top of the cooler there are spaces cut into the aluminum fins. These are made to allow for easy access of a screwdriver to the screws of the mounting system and thus greatly improving the user experience when installing this CPU cooler, especially since it will cover most of the CPU socket. The cooler has four copper made heat pipes, each has an outer diameter of 6mm and all of them are nickel plated. This being a top flow CPU cooler means that the heat pipes are configured into a C shape, this way they can make contact with both the fins and the base of the cooler while also covering the fan. The contact between the heat pipes and the fins plus the base plate of the cooler is done through the direct soldering of the surfaces together. This ensures the best possible heat transfer and also reduces the risk of loose cooling fins or movement into the structure of the heatsink. Still talking about the heat pipes, the endings of these heat pipes are fortunately machined symmetrical almost to perfection. Which is a great thing, especially when many, and I mean many, air CPU coolers have their heat pipe endings left with a random shape, most of the time looking like the heat pipe has been crushed. In the case of this cooler, all four heat pipe endings look great and they do a good job highlighting the Noctua emblem which is stanced into the surface of the front aluminum cooling fin. As I've said in previous reviews, it is the little details that make a cooler great, and this is one of them. The base plate of the NH-L12 Ghost S1 is made from nickel plated copper just as the four heat pipes I've been talking about. The base itself has a smooth surface with a radial sunburst pattern etched into the top layer. These circular marks are left from the manufacturing process, but they are so smooth that the evenness of the spread of the thermal compound will not be affected. A radial sunburst pattern also adds more depth to the design of the cooler as the light will reflect with the said pattern, although I am not sure why would you care that much and why would you even spend some time staring at the base plate of the cooler, but you have something to look for. Another thing to note about the heatsink of the NH-L12 Ghost S1 is that the fan itself does not sit on the aluminum cooling fins, instead Noctua attached two narrow rubber strips that act as a base for the fan to sit on. This not only removes any unwanted movement of the fan on the surface of the fins, but also will reduce the vibrations that is passed into the heatsink by the rotational movement of the fan. And finally, the fan itself. The model used by this cooler is the Noctua NF-B9 PWM. 
It is a 92mm fan with a thickness of just 25mm. It also has a minimum rotational speed of 300 rpm and a maximum speed of 1600 rpm, but the latter can be reduced to 1300 rpm by using the included low noise adapter. Other features of this fan include the usage of the Noctua SSO bearing system and notches at the end of each impeller, which helps in diminishing the noise of the fan. The cable used is long enough to reach the CPU fan header, but nothing else. It is also covered in high quality sleeving and uses a 4 pin connector for power. It is also worth mentioning that the fan is fully PWM compatible and thus you can control it through software or your motherboard's BIOS. The installation of the cooler is pretty simple thanks to Noctua's SecuFirm 2 mounting system which has not only been improved across the years but is used with most if not all Noctua CPU coolers. The installation starts with a backplate which is placed at the back of the motherboard. Please be mindful of the screws of the motherboard CPU socket. Then you add in the required spacers, afterwards the metallic brackets are placed on the spacers and secured with the four metallic nuts. Finally, the cooler is installed above the brackets and secured with the help of the two spring-loaded screws which are found on the pre-installed plate located at the base of the cooler. And you are set. And this is how the NHL12 Ghost S1 looks like inside a full ATX system. Of course, it would have looked better in a small form factor system, preferably housed inside the Ghost S1 enclosure, but as you know, life is made from small compromises and this is one of them. One of the good things about this cooler is that even though it is designed to be as low profile as possible, it is still usable with regular sized motherboards. Not only that, but the clearance is great for the graphics card and it barely interferes with the RAM slots of the motherboard. A thing which not many small form factor CPU coolers can do, especially those that are designed for specific usage such as particular cases or motherboards. Before we check the clearance of the cooler, we have a noise sample with the cooler installed in the system and the fans turned off, except for the included 92mm fan of the cooler. The fan will start spinning from a dead stop and will continue to rise its RPM until it hits the maximum speed available of 1600 RPM. The purpose of showing you this is that you get to hear the actual noise the cooler makes with the fan spinning at its maximum speed. While a decibel reading is valuable as a measuring device and comparison with other coolers, it does not take into account unwanted noises such as vibrations, movement of the fan on the heat sink surface or bearing ticking. With the measuring device placed at the standard 10 cm away from the system and the CPU cooler and with the fan running at its maximum speed, the NHL12 Ghost S1 reached a maximum noise level of 39 decibels, which is not that bad as it is what I'd expect from a little fan that is pushing air through a high fin density heatsink. In terms of clearance, as I've said before, it's good across the board, no pun intended. The heatsink will interfere with the closest of the RAM slots but only just and even so my RAM kit worked just fine and it's not exactly a low profile RAM kit. Then there's the clearance for the graphics cards, which is plentiful. In fact, the cooler doesn't even really interfere with the top mounted M.2 socket of the motherboard, which is very nice. The testing of each CPU cooler is pretty simple as it is composed out of two stages with two different benchmarks. The CPU used for all reviews unless otherwise stated is the Intel i9-9900K, running both at its factory settings and frequency and overclocked manually to 5GHz on all cores. The first test involves the usage of the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, which places a load on the CPU which is similar in level with what you can expect from a modern AAA video game or video render. And in this test, the NHL12 Ghost S1 reached a maximum temperature of 92 degrees Celsius with the ambient temperature at a steady 26 degrees Celsius and with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores. However, if the CPU is left with its factory settings, then the cooler reached a maximum temperature of 87 degrees Celsius, which is more or less manageable. 
The second test involves the FPU stability test within the AIDA64 Extreme software. This benchmark places an abnormal high load on the CPU, something that you will not encounter in your daily usage. But having such a high load on the CPU helps in our review as each CPU cooler is pushed to its very limit and we can get an idea of how they perform. Unfortunately, this means that some coolers will not be able to perform. Such is the case for the Noctua NH-L12 Ghost S1, as the CPU would immediately start to thermal throttle and reduce its frequency and TDP. This is not surprising as Noctua themselves note on their website that this cooler is not intended for high TDP CPUs and especially for high TDP CPUs that are overclocked. The Noctua NH-L12 Ghost S1 Edition is a good CPU cooler, however it is good if it is used with its purpose in mind. This means one little thing, that this CPU cooler is made to be used with not only a CPU with a low TDP, but also with an ITX motherboard and preferably the Ghost S1 enclosure or something similar. The good thing is that you can use the CPU cooler with other CPUs and more importantly you can use it with even a full ATX motherboard without having to worry that the heatsink itself will touch the radiators of the VRM or even the RAM modules. The NH-L12 Ghost S1 is available for around 55 US dollars or euros, which places it alongside other small form factor CPU coolers. But for this price, you are paying for the good clearance and good performance if the cooler is used with a good mid-range CPU. If you liked this review, then you can perhaps consider subscribing for more. And also, if you want to support the channel directly, then in the description below, you can find both the Patreon and Subscriber Star pages of the channel.